Greetings, everyone. Pastor Dave here, December 11th, 2011. I am going to play the audio portion of a video for you, and you are going to be appalled at what you are about to hear. Without further ado, let me, uh, let me play this, and then I want your comments. This into the record, and I know that I have that, I guess I say, the privilege to do that. But I'll go on to another subject matter here that's, I don't know if it's more egregious, but it's plenty bad. Um, this is a memo dated September 14, 2011, Department of the Navy, Walter Reed National Military Medical Center, up on Wisconsin Avenue, Bethesda, Maryland. I visited up there and visited wounded a number of times. And uh, this memo is from the commander of Walter Reed National Military Medical Center. Subject, Wounded, Ill, and Injured Partners in Care Guidelines. Policy Memo Number 10-015, and there's a bunch of other stamp numbers here that do reference off of the website. And it gives some directive about the purpose, applicability, official, uh, wounded, ill, and uh, injured partners, visits, how they should be conducted, etc. <clears throat> and uh, policy according to... Um, Patient and family centered care, Mr. Speaker. Children in good health, the age of 18, are encouraged to participate. It goes on. Here's how the family should conduct themselves in visiting the wounded. Here's the intensive care units, how we would do that. Here are exceptions, visits before or after the established hours, how that might work. Um, and then visitation for a certain kind of patients, etc. Those visiting the WII in an official capacity will make their request five days in advance, get in the goal line. A number of these provisions, as I read through here, the family, the leadership, members of the executive, this memo directs towards the, the executive, the legislative, and the judiciary, branches of government, members of the executive, legislative, to include professional staff members, judiciary, active duty, general flag, and senior executive service personnel is telling all of us, members of Congress, the president, and all of his people, the judiciary, the judges, the judiciary branch, and then all of their staff, or at least the legislative staff, what we can and can't do when we visit the wounded at Walter Reed, including active duty general flag and senior executive uh, services, celebrities, sports personnel, etc., members of the press, all these people that are listed, here's what you can and can't do. Now, I'll get to my point here on the last page, Mr. Speaker. Partners in Care Guidelines. That's all of us bound by this memo, supposedly. All family visits must be scheduled five days in advance, as I said. Group size can't be over five. All partners under the age of 18 must be accompanied by an adult. Okay, fine. I'm good enough with that. Can't take pictures unless the patient agrees. Fine with that. Due to dietary restrictions and infectious disease protocols, the distribution of home-produced baked goods to the patients, families, and staff members is prohibited. You can't bring cookies to the patients. Boy, that's tough. But I wouldn't be standing here if that was the worst thing, Mr. Speaker. That's item E. I went A, B, C, D, E. Here's item F. Here we go. And I'll read it into the record. Quote, no religious items, i.e., Bibles, reading material, and or artifacts are allowed to be given away or used during a visit. Close quote. Mr. Speaker, these military men and women who are recovering at Walter Reed at Bethesda have given their all for America. They've given their all for America and they've defended and taken an oath to the Constitution, and here they are. The people that come to visit them can't bring a religious artifact. They can't bring a Bible. They can't use them in the services. A priest can't walk in with the Eucharist and offer, the, and offer communion to a patient who might be on their deathbed because it's prohibited in this memo from the Department of the Navy, the Commander Walter Reed, and signed, Mr. Speaker, in conclusion, by C.W. Callahan, Chief of Staff, I'd ask consent to introduce these documents into the record. And I thank the gentleman, and I yield back the balance. Well, there you have it. And if you watch this video in its entirety, I'm going to put the link. It comes from Godlike Productions. 
uh, the first half of the video is how Congress had passed into law that in the military, our United States military, you cannot have same-sex marriages performed. Our Commander-in-Chief, Barack Obama, overrides that law and goes and tells the military and the chaplains, you have my permission, you go ahead and perform same-sex marriages. And now this. Now I have another article, uh, and you don't think we're in the last days? This came out December uh, 2nd, exclusive military blasted for banning Bibles at Walter Reed uh, Hospital. And it's, it tells how uh, now they're trying to uh, maybe rescind uh, their uh, thinking on this. But I'm going to put the links below. Same-sex marriages in the military, even though uh, Congress uh, put it in to law that there's no way Obama overrides them and says yeah if you go ahead and marry him go ahead and marry him anywhere anywhere now our young military men and women who are putting their lives on the line and they're wounded in battle they can't have a rosary they can't have a Bible they can't have communion leave me comments Yablas, Shalom.